Hi everybody, welcome to Kids Zone. I have missed you this week and I am glad that it is Sunday so that we can have some fun lessons together once again. I hope you are ready for today, but first let's praise and worship. Remember, you can stand up, you can dance, you can have some fun.
hope everyone enjoyed your praise and worship. Remember, God loves you. So, today's lesson is, the Bible is our map. Now, if you don't know what a map is, don't worry, you'll see soon. Today's scripture is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Now, this says, don't just love the Lord a little bit. Don't just love the Lord when you decide you want to love him. You have to love him. With all your heart, and you have to depend on not your own understanding, but on God's will for your life. So if you want something, and it's not God's will, that is your understanding, not God's. And if you do all these things, God will show you which path to take in your life. So that today we are going to look at. So, Blue Group, in your lesson notes, lesson note six, today you are going to put what is the main Bible reading for today, which book, chapter, and verses that we cover, and what are you going to pray for this week. The Yellow Group, you have a picture to color that says, Be Kind. So today what we're going to do, I want you to imagine that we are going on a trip. So we don't really know where we are going. We just know we're getting on this boat today and we are going on a boat trip. So let's see what we need to go on to a boat trip. So if you go away, let's say camping, what is a few things that you have to have with you every time so that you can survive? Well, let's see. The first thing, you might need a flashlight because you need to know where you are going. If you're in the dark and you cannot see, you'll certainly get lost. So we are packing a flashlight into our bag. The next thing we take is clothes. You don't want to get cold, so you have clothes to keep you warm and to protect you. We also need water, because well, without water, we cannot survive. And the last thing we need is food. So if you don't eat, how are you going to survive? So you need to make sure that we have packed all four of these things for our boat trip. Wait a minute, I think I am missing one thing that we have to take on our trip. Hmm. A map. Yes, I want to know where I am going. So I am going to take a map with me. So why? Why would we need a map if we're going on a trip? So firstly, we need a map because a map shows us the way. The second thing is we need to know the way so that we don't get lost. If you don't know where you're going, you are going to get lost. And the last thing, so that we don't end up in the wrong places. If you get lost, you might end up where you do not want to be or are not allowed to be all the wrong places that is not good for you. So we are taking our map with us so that we can make sure that we do not end up in the wrong places or get lost along the way. All right. Did you know your Bible is your life map? But how? Well, let's see. 
So you can use your Bible as your life map. So in this, when you go on a boat, you go on a journey. But in life, your life is your journey. So where you start and where you end up, it's all a journey. And your Bible is supposed to help you through this journey to make the right decisions and things. So the Bible gives you wisdom and direction. The Bible also helps us to make the right decisions. If you are unsure of what decision to make in your life, no matter if you're still in school or if you have to make a decision between what is right and what is wrong, the Bible tells you which decisions you have to make that is the right decisions to make that won't get you into trouble. And it also helps us to guide others. Let's say I read my map and I know what my map says, but my friend at school doesn't know what the map says. And my friend at school is busy doing all the wrong things and not just getting into trouble all the time. Well, if I read the map, then I know what is right and wrong because my map told me. So what can I do? I can tell my friend about the map and show my friend the map and help my friend into the right direction. Do you know what a compass is? So a compass also helps to show you the direction. So if your map says you have to go north or south, your compass shows you where north or south is. Because if I stand here and someone tells me, you have to go north, I don't know where north is. I can stand this side and north can be that side. I don't know. So I take a compass and the compass shows you exactly where north will be. So if the compass shows you it's straight, then you just walk straight and follow the compass. So that is what a compass is. So now, how can we use Bible verses as our compass? So first of all, we can memorize our verses because, well, do you walk around with your Bible everywhere you go? No. If you have your Bible on your phone, for instance, yes, then you might have it with you wherever you go. But if you forget your phone at home, then you don't have your Bible with you at school or wherever you are going, maybe on a holiday. You don't always have your Bible with you. So if you memorize the verses in your Bible, then it's easy to remember it. And today we will look at a few verses and you will be memorizing a few of them. You can also choose your favorite verses in the Bible that helps you through tough times or to just remember that God loves you and how to act. All of that is in the Bible. It tells you how to act, that God loves you. We learn this in every lesson we do. So you can choose your favorite verses and if a friend is in need, or if a friend is in trouble, or if a friend is afraid, you can help your friend by giving them the verses that you have memorized. You can also use the verses as direction. If you are ever unsure of what to do or what decisions to make, remember the verses that tells you what to do and what decisions to make. We will be looking at a few today. So first of all, here I have my compass. So the blue group, the yellow group, you can just remember this. But the blue group, you have a paper like this with north, east, south, and west on there with your compass. So what I am going to do, I am going to give you a verse for every direction to help you remember. So what you're going to do, you're going to write it into the right blocks. So our first verse for today is, 
And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So if you know that the Lord is your Savior, He's your God, He loves you, and you call to Him on His name, He will save you. East, for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So remember eternal life. If one day someone dies, they go to heaven to be with God. So this verse tells us that God did love this world so much. He loved you so much that he gave up his only son so that we can have eternal life. And remember that when you go through hard times, because that must have been hard for God as well to do. Then south, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So remember that God is a strong tower. Whenever you feel afraid, you can run to God and you can know that you are safe because God can take anything he is a strong tower, and that tower will never break. So whenever you go to God, you will be safe. And West, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So remember that Jesus is the way. He shows you the way, and he is the way to get to heaven one day. So if you do not believe in Jesus and you do not trust Jesus, you can't get to heaven. So to get to heaven and to find your way to heaven, you have to go through Jesus. So this is what you have to remember throughout your life as your compass to get to God. Oh, hi, Blurp. Oh, you say you have something to tell the kids? What can it be? Tips to memorize Bible verses. Well, that's a handy thing to have. So if you have a Bible verse that you enjoy or that helps you, you can memorize it. Let's see. Blurp says that you can sing the Bible verse. Hmm, that sounds like fun. You can write it out. So instead of just writing it once, you can write it a few times. You can write it in cool colors and all those things that makes you remember things or helps you to remember things. You can tell it to everyone. This is my favorite thing to do. If I have a verse that I really enjoy, I love telling everyone about it. So, if you do that, you'll definitely remember the verse. You can also make a sign over your mirror. Flip, that sounds like something that you would do. Hmm. Well, I think that is a very good idea. You can write it down, make a nice poster, and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. And what better than over your mirror? Because you have to look into your mirror every single day. Otherwise, you're going to go to school with funky hair. So, put it over your mirror, read it every day, and you will start to remember the verse. And as soon as you remember a verse, you can take it with you wherever you go. Thank you, Blip, for all this information and tips. So now we're going to play a game called What's Missing? So what I did, I am going to give you a few Bible verses. Now, this might be ones that you know or heard, or it might be some that you don't know or heard, but I want you to try and think which word I am leaving out. So I will give you five seconds for each, and then I want you to choose. So I will give you three words at the top that you can choose from to help you out a bit. Okay, so this verse says, 
I can do through Christ who gives me strength. Hmm, I wonder what I can do through Christ who gives me strength. Let's see our options. So there's all, there's everything, and there is nothing. Hmm, what do you think is the right answer? Did you get it? Let's see. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. The next one. I know the I have for you hmm, to prosper you and not to harm you. Hmm, this is a tough one. But it's the same word for both the missing words. So which one of these three do you think it is? Is it decisions, path, or plans? What is something that God has for you? Let's see. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So God has plans for your life that is good. And he will make sure that you do not get hurt along the way. That is what the verse says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For we walk by and not by sight. Hmm, this sounds like a song that I have heard before. Let's give you your tip. Is it foot? Is it faith? Or is it everything? We walk by faith and not by sight. So we don't look at what we do, but we trust God. Even though we cannot see him, we trust him. And that is what this says. For we walk by faith, because we have faith in God, and not by sight, even though we do not see God. And this is 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. May the God of hope fill you with all and peace as you trust in him. So what must God fill you with along with peace? Uh, along with peace as you trust in him. Is it joy, happy, or good? May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him. Romans 15, verse 13. Remember, if you ever feel that you don't have joy or peace, you are allowed to ask God to fill you with the joy and peace. Like our song, Joy, Joy, Down in My Heart. God gives you that joy. So you can ask for that joy anytime you want. Jesus said, I am the the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. <gasps> Isn't that our verse for today? Hmm. Let's see how many of you remembered. Is Jesus the direction, the way, or the one? Well, did you get this one? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And it is in John 14, verse 6. I hope that you learned a few new verses. And I hope that you know that your Bible can be your map in your life. And that all you have to do Spend time with God, read your Bible, trust what the Bible tells you, and you will end up 
where you have to go and what God has planned for you. You can memorize the verses, all of that to take you through your life and you will see that you will end up in the right places. Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the wisdom and direction it gives me to use in my life. Help me to understand what the Bible says and how to use it to make decisions. Please help me memorize verses that will guide me and the people I meet. Amen. Always remember that you are allowed to ask God to give you guidance when you are unsure. Don't want to end up in the wrong places. Activity time. Are you ready for today's activity? Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the blue group. You can get your packet out and you can get out lesson six for today. And the yellow group, you can also get out your packet and take out lesson six for today. Okay, so today we're going to start with the yellow group. So yellow group, you can take out your packet and let's see what surprises is in here for you today. <gasps> Ooh. What is this? Oh, is it a sweet? No, it's an eraser. So if you made a mistake, you can erase your mistake with this cute eraser. Please do not try to eat it. It's not going to be very yummy. But isn't it the cutest thing? Let's see what else is in there. <gasps> Ooh, my favorite sweets and a lollipop. Oh, this is going to be fun to eat or share with my friends. Okay, let's see. Blue group. Let's take out our packets. What is inside? Whoa. You also got an eraser that is funky and long. There is your eraser and mine is purple. What color is yours? And you also got some sweets. Oh, we are going to enjoy this very much. Okay, so today I have decided that the blue group and the yellow group, we are going to do something together. So in your packets, you will find a page like this. So you can take it out and put it in front of you. Remember, the blue group and the yellow group are doing this today. All right, so what you can do, you can color your compass. So today we're going to make a compass. And then you can decide if you want to take it with you to school or hang it up in your room or even paste it in your books if you want to. You can do with this compass what you want. But we want to remember that God has to lead our life. So you will see that on this one it says, let God lead. So you can let God lead your life and you need to remember it. So we can first start by coloring our compass. So you can color it your favorite colors if you want to. My favorite color is blue.
we always need a reminder that God is in our life because sometimes we might forget who to look to when we need Him the most. Have you ever felt that way? I know I have. Blue group, if you have a test at school, what is the best thing to remember? That God will lead you through your test and help you to get where you need to be in life. Okay. This is the little arrows that point you in the correct direction, north or south. So we want to make sure we see those clearly. Yellow group, if you go a little bit out of the lines, that is okay. You can always cut it out. And then you can also color that part. You don't have to color the middle if you don't want to because we are going to paste our compass there. You can color the outer part just like you want. If you have a favorite verse already or have a verse that you already know off by heart, I want you to tell mommy and daddy to post it on the WhatsApp group so that you can share that verse with other people. Maybe you are helping someone if you share your verse. I want to know what your favorite verse in the Bible is. I think everybody needs to have one. There you go. Okay, when you are done coloring, you can take your scissors and I want you to cut that circle, the outer of the compass, and that circle that says, let God lead. I want you to cut that out and then I'll show you what to do.
And remember, I want to see how well your compass looks like and what your favorite colors are that you colored it in with. So please post it on the WhatsApp group. And if you have any questions, you can also ask on the WhatsApp group and I will answer them and help you the best I can. Okay, and then the last one for me. There you go. Now you're going to take this one. Make sure your north is at the top and you can paste it in the middle there. Mm. There you go. And you can take this one and paste it at the back of your compass to always remember to let God lead your life. You can do that through reading your Bible, through praying, through memorizing verses, and spending time with God. There you go. So it will look like this in the front and this in the back. If you want to, you can color the back as well then if you would like and you have some string available or string left from the last time then you can hang your string on here and you can hang your compass up or you can put your compass in your bible or you can put it where you can see it every single day to remember that god is always with you and God is the map to your life your Bible is your map to your life and as long as that you listen to God follow God read your Bible you will know which path to take in your journey so I hope you really enjoyed doing that activity so your extra fun Blip says you have to find a verse and memorize it. Can you remember the tips that Blip gave us? We can sing it. We can write it out. What else can we do? We can tell it to other people. And we can hang it on our mirror or somewhere, somewhere we can see it every single day. So thank you, Blip. I want you to find a verse, memorize it, and I want you to write down the verse in your yellow or blue book. And then I want to see what your favorite verse is. So before we say goodbye, there's time for one more song. Are you ready? Let's get up and enjoy.
unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. So, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed your time and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye!